This is Nima. She and her family live in East Africa, on the outskirts of a large city. One of the problems she faces is that there is no mm -hmm. toilet in her home, so she has to use an extremely unhygienic shared facility. She finds it really unpleasant. There are vermin everywhere. She rarely feels safe. Nima faces the same problem at school, a lack of hygienic toilets. Similarly, there was no solution to the problem of untreated wastewater. Mr. Chambile, Nima's teacher, has recognized the problem and knows that hygienic sanitary facilities are essential. He also knows that his school is not an exception. In places around the world, up to 90% of all wastewater enters surface and groundwater untreated. Contaminated water is still one of the greatest risks to human health and development aggravating poverty due to the cost of illness. This risk has been long understood. In Europe, average life expectancy has risen by 30 years over the last century, with a majority of that increase, 25 years, resulting from improved water management, community hygiene and nutrition. It is time for change at Nima's school. Mr. Chambile has joined a project group supported by the German civil society expert organization, Border. The team was involved in planning toilet facilities as well as introducing an appropriate treatment system and training on sustainable operation of the water cycle. After several meetings and deliberations, the team chose poor flush squat toilets connected to a wastewater treatment system as the optimal solution to meet the school's needs. As added benefits, the treated water can be used to water the school's garden and the biogas collected from the system can be used in the school's canteen. Border acts as a process consultant, assists in the quest for the technical solution and helps the project group clarify and assign responsibilities. Border also supports the complex process of gaining government approvals. The project group identifies the necessary permits the responsible contacts and the mechanisms for securing financing. Once approvals from all parties are in place, the project group commissions engineers and construction firms. Throughout the construction process and after commissioning, there are regular on-site seminars on how to maintain the system and improve hygiene in everyday life. This process of careful consultation and continuous education is vital for raising awareness on the issue and maintaining a long-term commitment to addressing it. Of key importance are local partners who recognize the need for hygienic wastewater and solid waste solutions and who can contribute to strengthening the regional, governmental, social and economic structures that support sustainable solutions. The key is to respect cultures and traditions and to ensure that external experience is not adopted unquestioned. The project group's approach has led to success. Nima's school has newly built toilet facilities. The treated wastewater meets quality standards and Mr. Chambile has something new in his curriculum. In the afternoons, he and his students can be found in the garden, watering the newly planted banana trees.